School kids from across the region had an unforgettable day today, skating with the Lethbridge police and the Lethbridge Hurricanes. But they weren't just your regular kids. Today's event was to honor school heroes who sign up to become safety patrollers, a title held in high regard among the children. I chose to be a safety patroller because I wanted to help people get across the street safely. Yeah, help people uh, cross the street. You have to put out your stop sign and let them across. Just saving people's lives pretty much. You look both sides to see if any cars are there. I like to like save got people's lives in that. Protecting people f of crossing the street. It feels amazing because we're saving people's lives and it's saving the world basically. These student heroes are responsible for reminding drivers to stop and slow down by holding up signs and ensuring that their schoolmates cross the road safely. The Alberta Motor Association created this program 80 years ago. We're celebrating that, th that milestone this year and um, it was created so that we could keep the kids safe while they were going to and from school. Um, over that long history there's been a lot of patrollers that have gone through the program. We are starting to see third and fourth generations where moms and dads and grandpas used to go through the patrol program. The Hurricanes say they enjoy meeting kids during events like this and it's important to spend time interacting with their community. Kids had the chance to chat with the players and get autographs. From traditional papers and water bottles to sprained knees, many school-aged children have had a day that have left them starstruck. But the fun didn't stop there. AMA also covered the cost of their pizza lunch. While Safety Patroller's mission is to keep kids safe, there are also some concerns for the wee patrollers themselves. They can't go out and patrol by themselves. The safety when they're out on the crosswalk requires that they're looking up and down the roadway, they're aware of what's going on in their surroundings, and they're working together with their partner across the road. We do ask that when you are in school zones that you respect that those kids are there. Uh, we make them as visible as possible, keep adults out there with them to try and keep them safe. Obviously we know that doesn't help or isn't 100% accurate all the time, so it's just important that people do slow down and realize when you are going and make yourself familiar where the school zones start and where they end. Safety patrollers need to be in grades 5 or 6 and they say that this event is one that they look forward to the whole entire year. For Bridge City News, I'm Josie Foster.